to another video. My name is Shannon and I'm glad that you are here today. Today I am going to show you a glimpse into a two hour nap period in my life. My daughter is almost two and takes two to three hour naps. And I'm going to show you cleaning wise what I am realistically able to accomplish during that time period. Along the way, I hope to share some tips of how to keep a home clean with a busy toddler. It is not an easy task, that is for sure. In addition, I'll share some tips on how to reset your home when feeling overwhelmed and when you don't know where to start. On this particular day, I was preparing for my husband to return from three weeks of being overseas. He was visiting his family back home in Cameroon, West Africa, and so it was important to me to reset the home, have the home be just clean and presentable for his homecoming. I do not clean during most of my daughter's nap times. I oftentimes use that time to work. I chose to dedicate this whole two hour nap time for cleaning the home. And when I started, I thought I would do a general reset of most of the rooms in the home. But as I went, I honed in on our bedroom, our bathroom, and then the common living spaces of the living room, dining room, and kitchen. One of the biggest tips that has helped me is to focus on one room at a time. When the whole house feels chaotic and messy, to focus in on what one area, if I got this cleaned, would make me feel more at peace. This mindset has allowed me to just hone in on one area, complete that one area, and then experience the peace that that one area can bring to the home. Oftentimes when I do not focus on one area at a time, I get distracted along the way and I am focusing on multiple areas and my focus turns towards something else and I don't finish an area. And I think the sense of accomplishment of leaving a room and knowing that it is at its utmost clean state is a really great feeling. So that's what I chose to do today was to start in the bedroom, folding the laundry, putting the laundry away, wiping down surfaces, cleaning mirrors, vacuuming, watering the plants before moving on into the bathroom. Before I started this cleaning, in typical of nap times, I like to just spend a few minutes, some days it's 30 minutes today because I had the goals of cleaning, it was only five minutes, but five to 30 minutes just relaxing and enjoying a moment for myself after I put my daughter down for her nap. So on this particular day, I ate some chocolate when I started folding the laundry and also made the cleaning more enjoyable by listening to music, listening to a podcast, whatever is inspiring to you. My husband is usually the one that cleans the bathrooms in our home, or I should say does the deep cleans of the bathrooms in our home. So I was not very excited about this task. I don't know many people excited about cleaning toilets. However, I took it time to give it a deeper clean and really focused on again accomplishing our bedroom and bathroom and finishing this area. I will say that during this I put all other priorities to the side. So personally looking back at this video I recognize that I didn't feel very put together that day or even presentable or ready for the day but that wasn't the priority. The priority was accomplishing the cleaning for the day. Our home has an open floor.
floor plan concept. So the kitchen, living room, and dining area is one big room. And one thing that really helps us is just keeping this area decluttered and in general cleaned up throughout the day. On this particular day, it had gotten a little out of hand. We hadn't cleaned up after lunch. And so I started just by taking the time to get it back to the operating state that we like to keep it in. Taking care of dishes, unloading the dishwasher, cleaning countertops, feeding my sourdough starter. Because we keep the most used area of our home, this big living area, tidy throughout the day, it allows me to use small margins of time that I have to focus on bigger, more deeper cleaning tasks like vacuuming the whole living space and mopping the whole living space. That's not something I do daily. We typically sweep daily, um, but mopping and vacuuming this space happens about once a week in our home. Just like that, nap time was over and this was everything I was able to accomplish in this two hour nap period. Hello Ubuntu fam! Today is the day Carlson returns from Cameroon. After three weeks, Vera and I went to the library this morning for a story time and play time. Then we headed over to called Round Rock Donuts. Apparently it's quite popular and Hi famous. Me. Yeah, so we are trying to enjoy our day, fill our time before he Hi comes home. Me. Vera, do you like your donut? Yeah. Can you show me your donut? Ooh, yummy. The donut's were only 99 cents a piece, which I feel like is pretty cheap for donuts these days. Yeah, piece. And the glazed ones were a good size. We're also trying a kolache strawberry one and we had uh, one that had meat in it as well we made it to the airport we're walking in now Carlson's flight was a little early so we'll see him soon <laughs> is that Danny? <laughs> <laughs> excited to see daddy but she's more interested in the escalators so daddy's taken her up so she can experience coming down the escalator Even the 3XL doesn't fit, fit. you. So you have pants, 